their time on stage talking about men and women, and some of them will actually bring armpits into the discussion, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. <laughs> tonight, Nick DiPaolo and Lynn Coplitz are going head-to-head -head in a competition called How Well Do You Know the Opposite Sex? First, we're testing the men. Lynn knows the answers to this question, so Nick's going to guess. Okay, what three qualities do women look for most in a man? Nick, you got 15 seconds. Esther. I saw her at Bed Bath & Beyond with a uh, rabbi. Oh, wait a minute, Nick. Hold on, folks. Okay, Nick. I'm sorry. Nick's getting mad. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to blow out the roof. Okay, Nick, what do you think of the three qualities most women look for in a man? They look for confidence, sense of humor, and a penis thicker than Hillary Clinton's ankles. <laughs> All right, Lynn. Lynn, what's the correct answer? Okay, uh, I said an old geezer with a lot of money and no next of chin. I got relatives, but go on. <laughs> Oxygen tank and fatal allergies. <laughs> <laughs> She's not playing games, Blaine. I'm right. serious. So far, that's no points, I guess. Nick, you got zero points. Now it's the women's turn. The big penis points. was good. The big penis was good. The thick penis? Yeah. Right, so give him a point for the no, thick penis. I, have, I didn't have money, you're right. No, oh, you're right. Penis. All right no, I get it. It's too late. I already gave the point. We can't mess around with this board. It's serious. Um, a lot of technology. Yeah, I can Now tell. it's the woman's turn. Mike. Nick knows the answers. Lynn's going to guess. All right. What three things can a woman do to make her man happy? Happy? Happy. Happy? Da, happy? Da, 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 happy. Happy. This is kind of a swinging tune, don't you think? Nick, please, your answers, you're showing her the answers if you want to look over. Amy, okay. you know, I know it's a comedy show, but that. cheating doesn't help. <laughs> All right, Lynn, what three things can a woman do to make her man hop, hey? Um, knock out her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> get it? I should, oh, I get it. Um, move, like, out of the country, because men love space. Yes. And, um... Oh, I messed that up. Um, oh. Hold on. And don't <laughs> eat, because guys hate fat chicks. Um, if you're going to eat anything, just eat like your feelings, because <laughs> the only thing guys hate more than fat chicks are fat chicks who like to talk. <laughs> Nick, I know you agree with those. What'd you say? Uh, perform oral sex on them, make them a sloppy Joe, and shut the f up. Okay. Oh, right. two. Two. two boys. Didn't you mean shut the fudge up? Yeah. <laughs> Lady got two, two to one. Uh, on to the final round. I have the correct answer to this question. Hey, hey. Um, what's the best way to spend a Saturday night? I guess how she got though. She's got I two. I got two. Okay. Right. He's scary even on a show, you know? You're like, uh, women, women she's got two. I, go ahead. Oh, shut up. Ready? Go ahead. What is it? What's the best way to spend a Saturday night? That's very violent. It's not violent, but we did rehearse this goddamn thing, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Uh, all right. The best way to spend a Saturday night is Lynn. Okay, I'm giving up on men, so mine's with a hungry dog and peanut butter. What? Three. Uh, Nick! I had the same thing. <laughs> In a hot tub with two hookers at the Bellagio, recovering from what you did with five hookers at the MGM Grand on Friday night. All right. Well, actually, you're both wrong. The best way to spend a Saturday night is getting while reading the Crate and Barrel catalog, while watching a Kung Fu nor Efron movie, and lying about what you really want from, from the other person, then falling into torture and a loathing sleep while she sobs next to you. And on that note, let's take a look at the final score. Men one. Women two. We'll be right back. You won. You won. No, men one, women two.